But it, you see what just happened? It's a sign. I need to quit doing it. And then I got one from a Red Bulls. <laughs> and my water. I thought you could have some for you. That's, that's for my one small mouth. I'm gonna catch from these nine pounder. <laughs> a nine pounder to be like looks like he looks like he gonna catch a bass today we look like it anyway look the part now we gotta act we actually gotta act the part actually catch one that's over streaking three and a half pounds <laughs> all right for real dope we do have to Should be fired up. Come on now, boys. Oh, gosh, dang. not acting right feeling a little lopsided then we got just two other you know just just keepers we got to catch one big one i hope one big one they just come off i don't know whatever you see that big old thick line on your graph that's when you know it's a sure enough good for some reason he did not want to come in the boat i don't know why i'd appreciate it if he'd come in the boat all right now i'm just rambling Got us one anyway. What was that? Somebody got us one anyway. 
You got him. Alright. It's almost 11 o'clock. We got 14 pounds. We got to come up with a game plan. This is the, the thing. You could sit there and, oh, woe is me, and do all that, but we got to find us some bass to be caught. Keep running some places. And it's, it's hard because you sort of put yourself in this position. You try to you try to run a lot of stuff. You try to fish a lot of stuff. And sometimes you just need to slow down. So, oh gosh, a big one. Gosh, Marty. Come on, guys. You're supposed to bite that. That was a big one. Like a five. Followed it in. Suckers are smart. I'll give them that. They done figured some stuff out. Oh, I just had one ticket. Not a big one, there's a big one with it.
big one. I don't know. Well, we only have about 30 minutes to go, and I'm up here throwing the spinnerbait shallow. Had caught a couple five pounders up here, and we need five pounders to make the cut right now, so put herself in position. So that spinner, that one wrecked it too. Ho ho ho, it felt so good. Goodness gracious. I was throwing top water a little bit too and just switch that spinner rail. I wonder if it's just, that's the deal. Oh, it's a big one too. The five pounder right now would be gold. giant one. Oh, dude. No. Mm. Gosh, that sucks. About to go over on our stage. One good thing about today, we caught a bigger bag than yesterday. We didn't go down. Hopefully we went up. Seems like it was a little tougher today. And uh, I don't know. We're gonna have to see what, what it shakes out. Looks like it was a lot tougher. So I doubt we'll make the cut, but regardless, salvage some really good AOI points. And I think now at that point in time, we'll be able to just relax the AOI championship. We should have enough points that we shouldn't have to worry about making the classic, which is a sigh of relief, and then hopefully finish it off with AOI. We got it, we got another chance to win a blue trophy. One one more chance. Hey, watch him, Here we go. He won the first two Elite Series of Betsy Fish from Indian Seas. He moves into 22nd place with 38 pounds even. What's up, guys? Yeah. You hanging in there? Give me a hug. Oh, God. Yeah, you don't tackle me. Give me a hug. Nice to see you. It's nice to see you all. You having so much else to get out of the road, so I'm over here to the... The grass. <laughs> so I, like, I don't stand up. I can stand up. You stand up. That sucker bit my cricket. Bark the wrong cricket. You told him. You gonna touch him? Yeah. Right up there, honey. Touch that big wall. Oh. <laughs> nice one, huh? Pretty good wall, huh? Not bad. Good eating. Good size. Yeah. Take it out too. Eating size, right? 
right there. That's what I said. I said, you know what? That Guess one? what? This one's coming right here. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> hey, if you wouldn't have had that hole this week, you wouldn't have done no good. But I do. <laughs> what are the odds? The sucker finds them last year. I make 20 there. G's off that hole. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna start there in the morning. I like, hey, what are we gonna do with this wall? Hey, Mark, I got a wall eye. What are we gonna do with the wall eye? All right. Focus out to those because we've already gone through one pan. Oh, uh, I gotta <laughs> check these out. These stuffed peppers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sweet, man. Glad right. we can make it happen. Gavin, this is his camera for YouTube. It's set up. For oh, this, oh, this is yours. Nice. Yeah. But he's got his mic. This is like a little slot for his mic. He actually crazy. We crazy glued it on. <laughs> Mark. That's legit. Huh? That's legit. Oh. on it. It looks like it's rare, but it's not. It's amazing. Is it so good? Yeah, it melts in your mouth. Montreal steak seasoning. Yeah. So good. You just buy that at Walmart. It's Gosh, easy. then you got... Montreal steak seasoning goes on good on anything. Steaks, burgers, All right. fish. So fishing wise, if you had one, one bait, one fishing lure, what's it gonna be? That's hard. Okay. Um, a Senko and oh. a Ned Rig. Dang! Ooh. Dang, he done got it figured <laughs> out. This guy right here, he knows what's up. The Ned Rig, you heard him. The Ned Rig. Also also known as Nefertiti. Nefertiti. For those that didn't know. Hey, see, see, Mark actually won a tournament. Like, uh, actually la the last tournament, ago, believe yeah. it or not. Last tournament on, on a Ned Rig. And, and a drop shot. Actually, mainly, mainly draw shot, but a couple key fish came on the net. Oh, you know what? No, it's like, eh. It's like 60-40. Draw shot, 60. So what we have? We had... Prime ribs. Prime ribs. We had corn on top. We had salad. We had potato salad. We had... Well, when you're driving, I mean, just as you're leaving town, you'll see a big Apple pie with And right behind it is the first one. The we pie, I don't even like street. apple pie. Oh, like and that, that like pie, Donnell, you missed out, bro. I'm oh, sorry, bro. I'm too full. He's got a I got that prime yeah, rib, and I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> He's That's one on the river. He's such a baby. Yo, boy. <laughs> we did stuffed peppers, and then we had what else? That's we had one of our biggest, else? Uh, oh, mac and cheese. Yep. We had the full smorgasbord. What's, 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 what's the industry around here, more or less? Of, of just seems to be pretty Corn awesome. Light. Oh, uh, I don't know, industry. but you know, you gotta have that cereal once in a while. Unreal. That, this is industry industry pretty cool, man. Well, I appreciate you, Gavin, for allowing us to come in your, your house, your family, yeah, everybody yeah, here. Uh, Looking thanks out. Thanks for coming. This was the best player. day of my life. <laughs> 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 my works no, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, that's the best meal we've done had for a minute. Uh, so it. you made up for it. That's for sure. We, I was, hey, I was like, I didn't know if you were gonna cook that prime rib or what was gonna go on. I was a little scared. First, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little freaked out. It's okay. And then we found out. We had the yeah, most right. unbelievable meal ever. Yeah, we we missing cool people. Cola is still there. Right. So, oh, that's a and big problem. keep fishing. We can come back over tomorrow, okay. right? What? Uh, come back over tomorrow. Yep. All right. Done. Yeah, so they've got we'll a see lot Gavin more tomorrow. going on in terms of... Truck is amazing. So. Thank you. Did you take a picture with this? I got a couple, but I don't know if they got the flash during it. Yeah, because I glued my flash down with the glue. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's when I have my mic that's mount, so my flash was right yeah. there. Yeah, it's not coming back up anytime soon. No. So three ones. Thank you. No problem, dude. Absolutely. Hey, it's a pleasure. Nice meeting you. Very nice much so. Very you. nice to meet you as well. All right, Thanks guys. again for coming. Have a nice night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See ya. See you later. All right, everybody. Back on the road. Want to give you some final thoughts for that event. Overall, you know, the St. Lawrence River, a phenomenal fishery. And, you know, in this event, you know, as, as it's, it's progressed, we missed the cut, we ended up 54th, or I think 54th, 55th, just outside the cutting, eight or nine ounces out. So, I mean, it is what it is. You're gonna have those days, and 
but I definitely learned a little bit about that fishery. Um, the thing that was tough for me more than anything was I try to fish very specific stuff. Meaning, I try to fish, um, you know, like an isolated rock on a, on a point or, um, you know, a, a break line that has a little hard spot or, or a current seam that, you know, those fish will set up at. And those fish this week, they were sort of scattered out. So the guys that drifted around and really utilized their electronics and looked for them on 2D, that was the deal. Um, you know, my buddy Mark Daniels, MBJ, he's, he's still in it. And it looks like right now he's on Bass Track. He's in the top 10 right now. So, you know, good luck to him. Hopefully we can keep on catching him. I think he has close to 20 pounds. But overall, you know, late yesterday I made a decision to go shallow. And I did that on day one as well. Caught a couple little ones. And I ended up catching a three pounder that, that held at that point in time. And then caught a four and had another bite that would have actually, you know, made the cut. And, and that's the kind of stuff, those little last minute decisions that really make or break you. Um, yesterday, more so than anything, was all about solidifying and punching our ticket into the Bassmasters Classic. Um, you know, it's right there down there in Knoxville. We want to make sure we make that. And with moving up as much as we did yesterday, the first day we were in 75th, now we ended up in 55th or 54th. Gaining those 20 points, now we're, we're ahead of the Classic Cup. We don't have to worry about that because one bass, the AY Championship, and we're good to go. So about 14 more hours of driving before we get to Chattanooga but man I'm telling you what it'd be good to get a little break off from the tournament bastards for a minute and uh, relax and just sort of get ready for the next derby. That's what you call a bad day. I think they'd be all right. Those people seem like they were stepped out of the vehicle. They were all, they actually unhooked, like they were pulling a boat and they unhooked the boat and took and put the vehicle away from the boat. So I assume they're all good. They were on the side of the road. So it wasn't a car accident or anything, but I guess somehow the, I guess the car caught on fire. <laughs> Pretty obvious. <laughs> That's what happened. Not sure how it happened, but hopefully they're okay. Thank <laughs> you.